we're going to ride the Moab Canyon Pathway. Running along the southern border of Utah's famed Arches National Park, the Moab Canyon Pathway offers plenty of wow moments. The nearly 13-mile route follows Old Highway 191, which was converted into a paved off-road trail. The path begins at the pedestrian bike bridge that crosses the Colorado River on Highway 128, just north of Moab. behind us. It's already pretty gorgeous in the first hundred yards. It's a warm day and let's get at it. It's, it's going to be a great ride and off we go. The super smooth blacktop sneaks through two miles of the Red Rock Canyon to the entrance of Arches National Park. We didn't bike it, but while we're going by, let's take a peek at Arches. The path continues past Arches National Park for another six and a half miles and 525 vertical feet of climbing. Well, we aren't quite to the top of a fairly substantial uphill climb, but as we know, what goes up must come down. So the the scenery is just breathtaking here. It's you know, something you've got to got to see. I guess the trail goes through some real beautiful spots. The trail is as smooth as can be. They don't have any roots or cold or significant cold weather to damage the trail so it's it can't get any smoother. The steepest part of the trail is like a mountain pass that lasts for over a mile and a half. At about six miles, the trail levels off and you'll pass a parking area for mountain biking.
When you see the dinosaurs, you're at the Moab Giants and you're nearing the end of the trail. The options here are you can turn back for a scenic and speedy return ride, or you can continue riding on Highway 313 for a challenging 24 mile climb to Dead Horse Point State Park, or a 35 mile ride to Grand View Point in Canyonlands National Park's Island in the Sky. Both of those trips required riding on the road and that's not our thing, so we turned around and went back. We chose to head back and ride one of the little offshoots. We took the spur that takes us up the Grand Staff Canyon Trail, and we were glad we did because we got to ride along the Colorado River most of the way. The Moab Canyon Pathway is a short ride, but it certainly is a beautiful ride and a great way to see the scenery of Southern Utah. The Moab KOA holiday was pretty convenient. It was just a little bit south of town, but it had everything that we needed. We had a nice campsite, the pool area was really nice, and they seemed to have a lot of activities going on all the time. 